Hi, this is Yamez with Allen Metal Forge. Um, today, I'm going to be doing an edited video and uh, instead of one of my live videos. And what I'm going to be doing is kind of unique to me. Uh, I, I'm sure it's been done before, um, this format of the way I'm going to do this video series. Uh, it's a series on twists. And what I have is right now I'm going to go over a few of the basics of what I do with twists. I use, to straighten it, if I don't want to mar the uh, surface, the, the shape of the twist, you know, a sharp corner or this or that, like say with a Rubik's or with, you know, a river twist or just a straight up reverse twist, uh, use a rawhide or a wooden mallet on wood. You know, you can use a 2x4, you can use a 2x4 on a 2x4, you know, the point is, is something that's not hard that will just bend it straight, or bend it if you want to put a bend in a twist, you can do it without marring the uh, twist itself. So what I've done already for this, for the, the twists that I have ready for this series is I have pre-cut all of my twists, okay? Um, there are a few that I will cut as I go, um, like for example the pineapple twist, it will require another cut, you'll see that during the pineapple twist video. Um, mainly this is to save time. I'm doing this assuming you know how to cut a piece of metal. Uh, this can be done with either a chisel, as many have seen me do before. It can be done using a hacksaw, sawzall, uh, bandsaw. I use the grinder for these because it gives me, an, it's, it's just real quick and I can knock it out. Okay. Uh, and for example, the alligator twist. I just went ahead and ground all my lines on it. You know, I'll get in each video. I'll get more specific and show you up close how I did it, um, just so that I can quickly show you the important part is the twisting and how to form the different looks. Um, again, this is assuming you have the ability to grind, cut, or chisel shapes into metal. Some of the twists you cannot chisel or it will create a completely different look than what you're going for. For example, the sharp tooth and the Rubik's twist. If you were to try to chisel these, you would really mess up. The sharp tooth may be, may be able to. I haven't tried it. Um, but the Rubik's, for example, it's very specific. It has to be straight lines, you know, I used a grinder on the small, or a grinder cutoff wheel with the smallest possible line. You can possibly get a smaller line using a hacksaw or a bandsaw, something with a much smaller kerf, I believe it's called, tear, where the remove this the removal. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know let you guys choose which twists you want to see. And how I'm going to do that is, in the description below, I'm going to put a link to each and every single one of the twist videos. And then as I come up with or uh, think about or, or, hey, this is a neat twist, let me add this to the group, it's going to, I'm going to edit this video and put links below and keep adding the links. You can just skip this entire video if you'd like and just jump straight to the different twists. You don't have to watch this video before every twist. This is like an intro to all the twists. Uh, it's where I, you'll see me use this, I'm sure, during the video. Uh, I will mention it. Um, however, I try to be as specific as I can while still being efficient and show you the actual work. Um, my alligator twist, I always chisel, but this time, and it, and it does create a different look, chisel versus uh, cutoff, uh, stock removal. Um, with a chisel, it kind of pushes the, the material out, and it, you get a little bit of a, a ridge, which looks really cool. 
this with a grinder, you get a real nice, deep uh, line, a real defined, well-defined line. So uh, there is a decorative difference, you know, aesthetically a difference between chiseling, hacksaw, grinding, bandsaw. The tool creates a different look. So with that in mind, um, experiment. That's the number one thing with this. It's you, you get a basic technique down and then you experiment with it. That's how I got good at twists. It was one of the first, one of the first things that I, you know, started working on, you know, beginning this. And I just practiced it, practiced it, practiced it, tried different things, experimented. I have a lot of, I've got a pile of failed twists, you know. For example, this one here. You know, I thought, oh, let me do a, a bunch of lines across it on one side and then, you know, take my punch and punch a couple holes in it in different sp or punch a couple marks in it and see what it does it kind of looks like crap to me but I can work on that and make it better one day you know that's the point of this you practice 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 get good good and better you know, better better bestest bestest more bestest and the most bestest of all okay is whatever you can do so there you go. This is uh, Yamez with the Island Metal Forge saying, you know, check out the twists. Anyway, like, subscribe, uh, follow me. I go live every uh, every uh, weekend if I can on YouTube here, and uh, su support me. Support your local blacksmith. Support uh, anybody that you can in what they do because. What is humanity about but helping people? Um, I will be tossing up a Patreon link. Uh, I'm really new to it. I'm not sure how it all works, but why not? You know, there's a few other surprises coming up down the line, and I hope to, uh, you know, have fun with this and share what I've learned and learn what I share. So, Yamez with Island Metal Forge, cutting it short at only eight minutes and something seconds long for this video. <laughs> Have a great day. Uh, check the links below. Like, comment, subscribe. Put on alerts for the live video uh, updates. Bye.